Hello and welcome to a new video from Coach and Bus Week. Today we are looking at the arrival bus. This vehicle can seat 34 passengers and has space for two wheelchairs. As you may have read in the magazine, the rival has set out to totally revolutionise bus travel. And on this press day we had our first opportunity to view and ride in a new arrival bus. In terms of the user experience, it's certainly something that is very different. to what we're used to in the market. They've changed many aspects. So the brief was to make a light and airy interior, which they have achieved. You have information panels for length for the bus. The vehicle is fitted with air conditioning, which comes out of these vents here, and also onto the side windows. This vehicle is single glazed, but they have tested and certified a double glazed version as well. Rear emergency exit. The four motors for this vehicle are located in these wheel arches here, inside ca iron castings. So there's four motors in total, two on each side. Now the vehicle is very quiet in operation and is very smooth to ride on. So you've got the two wheelchair spaces here. Have a wide platform for wheelchairs to manoeuvre on. There's plenty of space there. Just two tip down seats on the near side and three on the off side. So, for those with poor sight, they will know once they've pressed the button, if they're holding on to that, you get the vibration so they know the vehicle's stopping. Also, features Braille. Moving to the cab area, the near side mirror is on the A pillar rather than being in the centre of the vehicle like many manufacturers and our rivals say that is because of feedback they have from the drivers who found it better positioned there. Quite a low dashboard so good visibility. Ticket to machines already fitted. CCTV there and on entry there's also CCTV throughout the vehicle which is built into the coving on each side and there's one at the back there And you also have one down the main saloon. 
So in the cab area itself, you have a small steering wheel, which is the same as the one used on the arrival van. The gear selector is there. The driver has the ability to scroll through various screens. So as you can see, there's no dash binnacle directly in front of the driver, it's offset to the left. So on this screen you have the door controls and the ramps, information screen, so time, miles per hour and state of charge, so at this point it's 70%. You also are able to control ticketing functions from this screen. As you can see the symbols on the bottom there, you've got the windscreen wipers, demisters, CCTV cameras. So it's all done through one screen. One part of the bus that isn't made by arrival is the driver's seat, which is an ISRI model. In terms of space for the driver, there's plenty of room. Both the driver's window and the passenger door have heated elements built into the glass, so they won't mist up. You can see there, not from the outside. So in regards to the door, it will only open when the wheels are straight, for obvious reasons. So looking at the front of the vehicle, you have a CCTV camera high up the top there. Various sensors built into the windscreen. mirrors as you can hear the air conditioning and the cab is going destination screen the full length of the vehicle on both sides, which has been tested and certified. That's using Arrival Zone software. The other difference you'll notice with this vehicle is that the glazed area, you have one panel at the top, and you have quite a, a deep panel there. It goes down to the skirt line. Moving on to the tyres, got Continental Conti Urban HA3s fitted, which are 305 70R22.5, and they are single tyres on the rear, not double. Independent suspension is fitted all the way around. Rear emergency door. Rear light LED clusters are also rolled down the side. So looking at the rear profile of the vehicle, you've got high level brake lights and indicators, CCTV camera at the top there full-size rear destination, deep rear window, and as you can hear, falling fans for the vehicle are located at the back. Any top-ups of fluids that are required are behind that fan from the centre there. Right. 
overall it's a very different looking bus to what we're used to in this industry.